Hey everybody, Chris Drizga here, Voight Real Estate. I work with business owners on a daily basis and one of their biggest challenges is negotiating a favorable office or warehouse lease. So I came up with seven helpful tips that any business owner can utilize when they're negotiating their next lease. Number one, get representation. This means hire a real estate broker that is representing you and you only. They're going to eliminate any conflict of interest and they're going to have your best interest in mind at all times. Number two, understand what your rent covers. Rent does not always cover everything. You need to ask the question what it does and does not cover, such as utilities, taxes, insurance, janitorial, the list is, is extensive. Number three, weigh the pros and cons of a particular location. An impressive address is only necessary for certain types of businesses. The impressive address is gonna come with higher rent, higher taxes, higher licensing fees, and most likely paid parking. I would strongly urge you to, to consider access to freeways, proximity to amenities, clients, and even competitors. Number four, push for landlord concessions. This one is completely contingent on where we are in a particular cycle, but it never hurts to ask. Free rent, moving allowances, uh, signage, free parking, uh, all of these should be asked and negotiated. Remember, there's no such thing as a standard lease and everything is negotiable. Number five, consider a cap. Management and operating expense fees can easily get out of control if they go unchecked annually. A typical cap is three to 5% uh, per year, depending on market and product type. Number six, insist on an emergency valve. You may be wildly successful and quickly outgrow the space. Alternatively, you may have a hard time making rent every month. Either way, you need to be able to get out of that space as quickly as possible. Some of these include subleasing or assignment rights, even termination rights. These all can become very, very intricate, so I strongly suggest you consult with your broker and or attorney before making any final decisions. Last, but definitely not least, give yourself time. Far too many people wait 30 to 60 days before the lease expiration, and at that point, you're dead in the water. You have no leverage and you have no time to do anything. Uh, regardless if you plan to renew or not, you should be actively evaluating this six months in advance, arguably 12 to 18 months. You can go to my website. I elaborate on all of seven of these points in my article, and there's even a table with suggested lead times relative to your overall square footage. I hope you found this valuable, and I look forward to next month.